I think we're very excited, you know, just uh, here in the locker room, out there practice, you know, guys very excited, opportunity. And then, you know, we're not many people uh, counting you in. So we love that and, you know, we have to wake them up. Do you feel like there's some unknowns with Trey Lance at quarterback or do you guys feel like you got enough tape on him? Uh, no, I definitely think there are some, some unknowns and I think that's just, that's life too. Uh, but I definitely think there's unknown. There's not a lot of tape out there on him besides like the preseason and uh, one, two games he started last year. And yeah, I think it's going to be good. But I think at the end of the day, they're going to try to do what he, do, he what he does best. And Shanahan's going to uh, revert back to like what he likes as well. So the ups and downs of training camp for you and then to be voted a captain by your teammates, what does that mean to you? Oh, it means a lot, you know, because at the end of the day, that's what that's what really truly makes a team. It's the guys in the locker room and how the guys in the locker room view you and how they see you from their eyes. That's all, that's all that matters to me. And hey, I think that speaks volume within itself. So everything else can go to go to rest. And as one of the captains in here, in what ways does this room feel different to you starting the season compared to maybe last year? Uh, one more time? Just like, how, how, does, does this locker room, I mean, there's music playing around. Is, it, is there a different vibe in here with this locker room right now? Uh, I think it's more so just a different vibe out on the field, just with the guys and uh, how we're all uh, approaching the thing and how we're taking it. Like the principal defensively, uh, that's what I can speak for uh, more. And I think we're just excited just to be out there with each other. And we cherish the moments that we have out there with each other because we know it can very well be our last any given play. What do you think? It, how do you explain the, the quick buy-in from everybody who seems to be here with Coach Eberflus and what he's wanting to implement? Uh, I think, yeah, it's crazy. You, you normally don't see it uh, as much, but I think when you have a young team and a lot of guys that are hungry and a lot of guys that haven't, if we're just being honest, haven't done a lot in this league uh, so far. And like when you have those type of guys in the locker room and, you know, a good leader in Flus and uh, Allen uh, from the uh, defensive side, it makes guys, you know, want to buy in like, okay, this, this is what it's going to take. Okay, we're all for it. So, hey, let's go. Oh, yeah, I think the scheme will be uh, good for me, allow me to uh, utilize uh, more of my talents, uh, speed, run and hit, uh, allow me more opportunities to be out in coverage and uh, just showcase my skill set. So I'm very excited. Are you looking for more takeaways? Uh, yeah, definitely takeaways. Takeaways get the big bucks, right? <laughs> <laughs> you like giving the, the, uh, you like giving the hype speed. Yeah, like around you and getting to know it. You like giving uh, I don't. It don't. It don't bother me doing that. I just feel like a lot of guys do like revert to me and look at me as that as that guy, you know, when speak, speaking up and things like that. So I just really give them what I feel and how I'm feeling because when you're coming from the heart, that's what matters the most. So that was something that the team sort of expects out of you somehow, some way that getting your gig. Uh, if that's if that's how people see it, but I just see it as just like a, another thing, like just like getting lined up. You know, I don't second think it. I don't second guess it or anything like that. Who on the defense will surprise us? Is there somebody who we don't know, we don't really know now, we might know Monday or down the road? Is there someone you've seen you know, inside? I think there's a lot of guys, and honestly, I think all 11 is going to surprise everyone how we're going to run to the ball and how we're going to hit anything that moves. How do you guys go about trying to limit a guy like Debo Samuel who can beat you in so many different ways? Oh, uh, yeah, I think it's going to first start with uh, outside of Samuel. I think it's going to start with stopping the run. And you're stopping the run, and then when you can make a team one-dimensional, that's going to obviously open up the uh, air for a lot more things. And when you can do that, I think it'll put us in a, a lot better position. Well, you have two rookies in the secondary. What's your sense of confidence in them? Yeah, I have a, a crap ton of confidence in those guys, and uh, those guys bust their tails day in and day out. Uh, Brisker, you know, he don't play like a he don't play like a rookie, nor do he think like a rookie. So, I love that guy's mindset and the way he come out and how he attack each and every day. And Gordon, uh, the way he's the way he's aligned uh, and the way he's been playing uh, as of recent, I like him a lot. So I'm very confident in those guys.